What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Y. Jaken here and oh my gosh, I've watched some more on Neo and it makes me even more excited to play the game and find out what the heck is going on in the story. So the first thing I would like to cover is talking about Let It Die of course. Uh, not too long ago, I think it was yesterday or two days ago that Let It Die got a massive update but it wasn't really adding much onto the game it was more or less fixing a bunch of bugs that was within the game now due to the size of this update you guys see that there is a lot of room for improvement now uh if you guys have been following this channel we've gone through a massive massive uh subscriber count being an increase and now starting to decrease the increase being over a thousand subscribers and the decrease being within 55 to a little bit more subscribers within one day now, the only way that I'm going to get back with and let it die is basically if, you know, more game changing things happen. I'm excited at the fact that there's fewer loading times and now that that bug that's been out for forever where um, if you're trying to complete a, you know, trying to complete a floor by killing everyone but then a hater kills an enemy and then that completely wipes the quest, that sucked. And it was this this you know bug face was long overdue, but better now than never, right? So if the game goes through a massive balance overhaul or just basically something extremely game changing that catches my eye, then yes, I will happily get back into the Let It Die. But for now, I'm kind of just sitting back and reminiscing on the memories that I had and just trying to see where the game goes. Um, I think that a lot of people mistaken it as I'm wiping Let It Die, I'm trashing on Let It Die, Neo's coming out and I'm like F Let It Die. No, I will happily admit, I had a lot of fun with Let It Die, it's just that I want to sit back and see where the game goes now. I don't want to keep on producing content on it that either seems uh, repetitive or I'm just not enjoying or it seems extremely cheesy, you know? So. If Let It Die goes through a very, very nice game-changing uh, update, then yes, I will get back into it and see what it has. But, Neo is right around the corner, and oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. You guys may compare Neo and Let It Die, you guys may think that I'm going to get tired of Neo, but there's a lot of things within Neo that I fairly enjoy. One of the fact being multiplayer. Yes, freaking multiplayer. Two, I can die. I can freaking die without regretting it. Oh my gosh, because what if my game crashes? Oh no, I have to pay a bunch of gold. What if I die on a high floor when I'm just trying to casually farm? Oh no, I lost all that and I have to pay so much freaking gold. So if they had an update within the game to where maybe heavily decrease the kill coins to at max like 5,000, I mean obviously that more than likely won't happen but i'd heavily enjoy that i wouldn't mind paying 5k each time you know my character died that's not bad you're still paying but not a ridiculous amount and one of my major problems is the weapons you know if i'm upgrading a weapon that i like to use i don't think that i have to pay so freaking much and if i do i would like to be able to repair it you know so if the weapon is about to break if you continue to use it then it'll break but if you continue to use it and then don't use it at all before it breaks take it somewhere like within the level or find i think that it would be cool if they added some uh benches or something or a ui to where you could you know hand repair it or bring some items with you to repair it because back in the um previous neo alpha your weapons lost durability once it lost full durability the weapons were basically useless it wouldn't break but they did a lot less damage you actually carried an item in which recovered your armor and your weapons. I'd like to see that and let it die. That would be great. So moving back to Neo. Um, they took out the durability, so now you can just farm weapons as you like. You can use whatever weapon that you like. And basically as you progress through the game, you just get stronger versions of that weapon, which I really freaking like. And back to the dying, I can die. Oh my gosh, if I die, you can retackle the area and say, how could I, how could I do this by a different approach? There's not much punishment other than when you're in battle, how bad they kill you. But then you can just tackle it right again. It's freaking amazing. It's I love it because there's so much diversity to the game and you can keep playing it nonstop. 
So of course Neo is a full game and Let It Die is a free to play game. So don't get on my ass too much about that saying, RJ, stop critiquing Let It Die so much. It's a free to play game. It's the best one out there. It probably is the best free to play game out there. But, you know, again, as I said, Let It Die has a lot of room for improvement. And when I see those improvements, I will get back. But until then, I'm definitely trying to cover other games. Thus, meaning Neo. So, I'm extremely hyped for Neo. Cannot wait for it to come out. And as I'm making this video, I have to pay my internet bill tomorrow. So, you know, I'm going to be uploading a lot of freaking Resident Evil because those are the things that I pre uploaded to hold me off until I get situated again. I'm going to try to get Neo as fast as possible so that I can start um, basically uploading that as well. And uh, I like to do gameplay on that. I didn't do gameplay on Let It Die. I mainly did guides and stuck to the gameplay to, uh, what's it called? To the streams. But to spice it up, I'm going to try to do guides and gameplay with Neo. Uh, my idea on the fact is basically trying to play through the level within multiple episodes. And then once I start to get a feeling for it, then we can have a fresh run through. So, you know, we're exploring it for the first time together. And then once we actually beat it, then we'll do a run through of the stage and then the boss battle will have its own episode. That's how I'm trying to run Let It Die. I mean, not Let It Die, freaking Neo. And I think it'll be really fun. And I looked at, again, another trailer that kind of spoiled a surprise for me, but yo. Oh my gosh. The trailer and the story is looking very, very promising. Now, before I close this video out, another thing that I'm excited for is the fact that it's set in the Sengoku era. You guys see these pictures that I have, you know, fading through? This is Genshiro and what, what's his other name? Uh, Muneshige? Muneshige? M Muneshige? I, I don't know how to really pronounce his name. But you guys see the versions of Samurai Warriors and now you see the versions of Neo. Oh my gosh, I am so excited! Because Genshiro Tachibana is one of my favorite characters within Samurai Warriors along with Warriors Orochi. She's amazing. The Tachibana clan is the ish. So when I saw that um, Muneshige Tachibana had the electrical dog um, spirit animal, I was like, hmm, why does he have that? Oh wait, he's part of the Tachibana clan. The Tachibana is known for, you know, having electricity. They take pride in electricity. So it's sick to actually see a different version of the Tachibana clan within another game. It's awesome i love the sengoku era so the fact that you're playing as a samurai within these all these iconic people yo i even saw date masamune my dude date masamune looks sick i think you can get his armor i don't know if you can fight him but yo ieyasu mitsunari is in this game oh my gosh you can even get um what's his name yukimoto uh sanada's freaking armor in this game i am hype the Sengoku era is the ish. Oh my gosh. Any hoosies got that from Swoopsie. I'm going to catch you guys later. And you guys tell me what you think. About Neo, that is. And uh, and your, and also your thoughts. Your honest, honest thoughts on Let It Die. Because for now, I'm taking a massive break from it. And when I do see these improvements, then I'll get back into it. So, I want you to be honest with me. Don't try to defend the game just because it's a good game, but be extremely honest and be, well, what will be the word? Be reasonable with me, all right? This is Messwar Jake, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace. Tachibana Muneshige. Tachibana Munshig. No. <laughs> That's just butchering the name now. How the hell do I say it? Tachibana Muneshige. Tachibana Muneshi. Tachi. Tachibana. Tachibana Munshige. Tachibana Muneshige. Tachi. Oh my gosh, I need help. I need help with this guy's name. Tachibana Muneshige. Tachibana. Genshiyo Tachibana Muneshige Tachibana